what I like to do is have everyone reading um, at the same time out loud, but at different places in the text. That sounds chaotic, but it's really not. So if I have five students at my table, I'll give books to students in spots one, three, and five, and then they go ahead and they start reading out loud, just kind of whisper reading, not super loud, but not quiet so I can hear them. And then I will give those word lists that you saw in a picture a couple slides ago, I will give those word lists to the students in spots two and four so that they're not, do, they're not just sitting there, but they are doing something while I'm waiting for the other students to turn the page. When the other students are on the next page, then I'm gonna give the books to students in spots two and four, and they'll start reading at the beginning. So now everyone is reading out loud, and um, but they're at different places. So they're not just listening and copying their neighbor. They're at their own spot in the text. Yes. And then I'm like leaning in and listening. I listen and work with this student and then this one and then this one. Um, and you get really good at listening to this one and then hearing something over here and being like, oh, check that again. And then coming back over here. You get really good at it. 